The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. The following presentation contains a map of the location, body-worn camera video, and photos of the scene. Some of the audio and video has been edited to protect the privacy of the victims involved and to avoid release of information that state law prohibits the Sheriff's Office from releasing. The redactions and edits do not affect the depiction of events presented in this video. Some of the audio and visuals we are about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On the morning of December 2nd, 2022, at approximately 3.30 a.m., an officer-involved shooting occurred near the intersection of Desert Street and Locust Street in Rosamond, California. The following is audio of a 911 call made by a resident of the Sierra Vista Mobile Home Park. 911, what is the address of your emergency? 2421 Sierra Highway. What's going on? Um, I'm at work right now, but my wife, uh, she was looking at the, at our cameras and I'm also looking at the cameras and there's someone, there's someone walking around trying to break into the cars. Um, one, one alarm from a car a little bit down, a couple of chairs down already went off and he did, and he walked up towards my vehicles also. Are you able to provide a description of the individual? He is wearing a black hoodie, gray sweatpants. It looks like yellow or or lime greenish shoes, and he's carrying something in his hand, but... We'll get somebody out there as soon as we can. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. The following is audio of another 911 call from a resident of the Sierra Vista Mobile Home Park. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Yeah, hi, uh, it's 2421 Sierra Highway. There's a guy outside, he's wearing black shorts and a hoodie, and he's checking, um, he checked my neighbor's car to open it, and he seemed to mind, but I put my alarm on the car. And you said he was a, a male wearing a black shirt and what color shorts? It's a black hoodie with a white shirt under and black shorts. Okay. And how long ago did you see him? Um, probably like a minute ago. I was live on my camera because I saw another guy suspicious. He had something on his hand, a gray silver tea. Okay, thank you for the information. We'll have somebody out there as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, bye-bye. Kern County Sheriff's Office East Area deputies responded to multiple reports of a subject attempting to break into cars and setting off alarms at the Sierra Vista Mobile Home Park located at 2421 Sierra Highway in Rosamond, California. When they arrived in the area, deputies saw a subject matching the description walking northbound on Diamond Street and attempted to make contact with him. The suspect, later identified as Edgar Rojas, age 19, began running northbound on Diamond Street, then westbound through a business parking lot and into the alley between Diamond Street and Desert Street. One of the deputies responded to the trailer park to determine if a crime had been committed. Deputy Valdez continued following Rojas, who began walking in the east alley of Desert Street. The following is video surveillance of Rojas just prior to the officer-involved shooting. When Rojas exited the alley, he began walking westbound on Locust Street towards Desert Street. When Deputy Valdez exited the alley and began to turn westbound on Locust Street, Rojas shot at Deputy Valdez in his patrol vehicle once. Control on East 7, I'll be following the subject. He's on Locust and Desert. 10-4. Shots fired, shots fired. Copy, shots fired. Code 33 on the patch for East 7. Rojas then fled westbound on Locust Street, then northbound on Desert Street. Deputy Valdez then pursued Rojas. Copy, E7 is hit. Good morning, Simon. I'm with E7. He's been hit in the head. Can you start Control 3? A friend, we're starting them now. The following is footage from the department-issued body-worn camera of Deputy Valdez. Please note the body-worn camera does not capture everything the deputy sees and the deputy does not see everything the body-worn camera captures.
Deputy Valdez exited his patrol vehicle and began to pursue Rojas on foot. As Deputy Valdez neared the intersection of Desert Street and Locust Street, Rojas began shooting at Deputy Valdez and an officer-involved shooting occurred. During the officer-involved shooting, Deputy Valdez was struck in the head. Deputy Valdez was able to seek cover behind his patrol vehicle. Rojas fled the scene into the neighborhood. Deputies requested assistance from allied agencies. The following is footage from a department-issued body-worn camera of a deputy on scene. There he is! He's fucking across the street! In that house! Where? Right there. You see the arcway? He just ran right there. Okay. Stand right here. Kneel down. Where were, where were you right here when you got shot? I was just up at the corner. Were you out on foot? Yes. You think he went westbound? No, he ran to the house right across the street. Hey, get out of here! Now! Uh, You're fine. Suspect will be armed for the handgun. I know. I'm gonna put this guys on it, okay? Yeah. How bad is it? You're fine. Graze me? Uh, grazed, but. Took some meat? Yeah. Tragic. California Highway Patrol and Los Angeles Sheriff's Department responded to the area and assisted in setting a perimeter around the area where Rojas was believed to be contained. SWAT team and detectives were called out. Deputy Valdez was transported to Antelope Valley Hospital and sustained a 2-3 to three inch gunshot wound on the left side of his head. At approximately 7.30 a.m., Edgar Rojas was located in the 2900 block of Desert Street, uninjured and arrested without further incident. During his arrest, Rojas was found to be in possession of a ghost gun. Edgar Rojas was booked into Kern County Central Receiving Facility on charges of tampering with a motor vehicle, prowling, discharging a firearm in a negligent manner, possession of a firearm without a serial number, possession of a loaded firearm in public, attempted murder with a deadly weapon, assault on a peace officer, and obstructing and resisting an executive officer. Here is a photo of the gun Edgar Rojas shot the deputy with. Deputy Michael Valdez was placed on routine administrative leave pending the completion of the investigation. Kern County Sheriff's Office homicide detectives investigate any use of deadly force by any member of the department. The investigation has been submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for criminal review. On January 11, 2023, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened a critical incident review board examining the use of force in this incident. The use of force in this case was determined to be within department policy. Anyone with information regarding this case is asked to contact the Kern County Sheriff's Office at 661-861-3110 or secret witness at 661-322-4040.